Hi, I'm Andrew Simpson with Ether Automation, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add logic to your quoting form in Zoho Creator. So if you've seen the last video, we created the button that opens Zoho Creator and adds information to link it to that deal. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to have that quoting form have logic. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. Hopefully this is the right screen. Otherwise, this will be a short video. Okay. So if you remember from our previous video, we made this creator form. So I'm still within this deal, this demo deal. And what I want to do is I want to add logic so I can say, hey, our square footage price is, you know, we have a, a thousand square feet. Right. I want to select the concrete grade and the finishing. And then I want to have this information automatically populated so that it gets sent back to Zoho uh, CRM within the quote module. So let's start out. I'm going to go and open Zoho Creator the settings. I'm going to go to workflow. And in our last one, we had this uh, workflow on load of the form. In this case, I'm going to have it on um, a modification of this um a square feet and then we're going to copy and paste that same logic to modification of finishing and concrete grade so let's go ahead and create a new workflow from the quote form on create or edited user inputs of the field and the field is the square feet so this can be a uh, square feet modify price and then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to create a new action. So the first thing we want to do um, is this is often the last step people do, but I like to do it first just to make sure everyone's on the same page, is we want to check to make sure this, this, and this are filled out. So <clears throat> check to make sure required fields are filled. So if inputs dot uh, square feet is not equal to null, or actually let's do it is equal to null, then we want to return the function. And I can go ahead and save this. So now if this is empty, it's, uh, it's not going to do anything. So we want to do the same thing with the other two fields. So let's go ahead and copy paste. Input dot finishing is null. We want to return it. And finally, if the concrete grade is null, then we want to return it. Right? And I can go ahead and update this. Great. So now if, if any of these are empty, it's not going to run the function. So what's the next thing we want to do? We want to get pricing information. So it's going to be a price per square foot multiply by finishing type multiply by concrete grade. So in a later video, I'll show you how to pull uh, this in from another module. Actually, let's do it in this video. So we want to get in the concrete um, concrete grade pricing, the finishing type, and then the square foot. Um, we can pull that in from CRM, the products. Uh, but in this case, we're just going to set an arbitrary square foot price. So um, square foot price equals $1.50, right? So now we want to multiply it by the finishing type. So we don't have, well, we have the two finishing types, but I'm just going to go ahead and make them as a module. And I'm going to go in here. I'm going to click plus form from scratch, finishing type. And then we're going to add name. And then finally, we want to add a currency field or the um, uh, percent, the increase price by. 
And then we want to do this again, but with the um, other value, the concrete grade. So let's go ahead and do that. Form from scratch, concrete grade. <clears throat> and we want to have a single line field and then, of course, a percent increase. Percent increase and name. Done. So now that we have that, I can refresh this page. And there's two, there's uh, types, and then there's concrete grades. So we're going to go ahead and make some uh, pricing for concrete grades and then pricing for finishing. So now I have a aggregate and smooth for type, and I have my concrete grades, the smooth blended and rocky. So if I go back to my function right here, um, I'm going to want to fetch that information. So I'm going to drag this in from the, the left-hand side here. The, let's just comp this out and save it so I can reload the page. Drag in my fetch records. This is the finishing type. So um, finishing price increase. And insert that. So then the field we want to do is name is equal to the inputs dot finishing. And then the concrete grade is the same thing. So uh, concrete price increase equals concrete grade, square bracket, name equals equals inputs dot concrete grade. So now we have this finishing price increase and this concrete price increase. We want to do subtotal equals the, uh, we'll say square foot subtotal equal to the oh, square foot price multiplied by the inputs of the input dot square feet. And now we have, this, um, we want the subtotal, which is the square foot subtotal, multiplied by the concrete price increase, multiply, you know, the, the specific, the, the price percent increase of that, multiplied by the finishing price increase. And we want to scroll down to increase price, price by. So this is now our subtotal. So we'll go inputs dot subtotal equals subtotal. Now I can go ahead and update. So now if I go back into my demo here, I can select Rocky aggregate, say it's 1000 and I have an error. So it says no value occurred in performing multiplication on line 29. So let's go back to line 29. Just one more time. So we found the concrete grade, but we did not find the finishing type. Why not? Let's go and check our finishing types. I didn't spell aggregate properly. So let's just choose a smooth. Okay, okay. And then it gives me a price here. So let's go back and take out these alerts. So now that we have the subtotal in there, we want to calculate this information 
um, for the taxes and then the total. So taxes equals the subtotal multiplied by, uh, I don't know what our tax rate is. Uh, let's say it's 0 0.07. I don't know where it's at rate, but hopefully that's a good rate for you. And let's add that in. So input dot taxes equals taxes. And I don't think that's the right name. Input dot taxes. It is the right, the right one. So now that we have taxes in there, we can go uh, total. Amounts equals taxes plus subtotal. And then inputs dot total equals total amounts. Now, when I update this, It didn't fill in the taxes amount. That's probably because of that. Let's do it one more time. Let's say it's 100 square feet. There you go. Here's our subtotal. Here is our taxes amount. And then here is the total amount. Now, I'm pretty sure these two numbers are incorrect. Um, when we convert this from a percent to a decimal, um, it likely um, does not divide by 100. So let's just go back and do this, update. And let's make this 1,000. That's still not accurate. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in uh, brackets, divided by 100, and this in brackets, divided by 100, updates. There's a more accurate pricing right here. I'll see you in the next video.